Three months after the fall of Jurassic World, a man in his mid-twenties named Michael O'Shea traveled to Isla Nublar after losing a bet he made with a friend to try and uncover the mysteries behind Paddock 13, a part of Jurassic World that was abandoned for unknown reasons. Getting to the paddock was no easy task, for Michael had to fend off many different dinosaurs such as Monolophosaurus, Carnotaurus, and even the queen herself, Rexy. He traveled the jungle until he finally reached Paddock 13 and began to explore the area. As he explored the outer part of the paddock, Michael grew very uneasy and felt that something wasn't right. However, he had to keep moving forward. He made it this far, he couldn't stop now. Michael then tried to look for a way into the enclosure. Luckily, there was a small opening that was just big enough for Michael to fit through. When he got in, the paddock was full of bushes and shrubbery, and a little body of water for drinking. It also had skeletons in it, probably from feeding whatever they were keeping inside the paddock. It was quiet for a moment before Michael heard a hissing noise, followed by a growl and some clicking. Michael turned around and there it was, the creature from Paddock 13. The creature was around the size of a Carnotaurus and looked jaguar-like. It also had a very long tongue and glowing red eyes. Its teeth had to be at least six inches long, and its claws were even longer. The creature also had what appeared to be stegosaurus plates all over its back, along with a club at the end of its tail. Michael was able to put together that this creature was part stego and part ankylo, and mixed with a carnivore. The hybrid stared at Michael and walked closer. As soon as he ran, the hybrid pursued him. Michael ran towards the opening and climbed out. He thought he was safe, that is until the creature broke out of the paddock, making a larger opening. The creature continued to chase Michael until he reached the boat where his friend was waiting. Michael told his friend what had happened, but he didn't believe him. The friend went out to investigate, and when he did, he saw the creature. It pounced and ate the friend, causing Michael to start the boat and sail away before the creature could turn its attention towards him. Michael barely managed to escape the island, but he lost one of his best friends that night. He couldn't tell anyone what happened that night and swore to himself that he wouldn't. Then he realized that now that this thing was free, the dinosaurs of Nublar were in grave danger. But that wasn't his problem, and he set off of the mainland to pretend that this night never happened. Greetings, everyone. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more. It would really help out a ton. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys next time.